What's up guys? Today we're doing something crazy, the mouth transition effect. You've probably seen it on edits where it feels like the camera travels straight through the mouth into a brand new scene. It looks super trippy, cinematic, and honestly, a bit unreal. But the best part, you can pull this off way easier than you think. Once our clips are ready, we'll grab the last frame of the first clip, set your in and out points with the B and N keys, then press Ctrl plus M to send it to the render queue. From here, change the format to PNG sequence so we get a still image. And once that's set, hit OK and start the render. Alright, now we're gonna use a little bit of AI magic to create this crazy transition. Go to higgsfield.ai, I'll leave the link in the description for you. Once you're on the site, scroll down just a little bit until you see this button that says view all visual effects and click on it. Now on the next page, you'll see a bunch of different effects, but what we're looking for is called mouth in. Once you see it, simply click generate and let the AI do its thing. Go ahead and upload the still frame we rendered earlier. Just drag it right here or click to select it. After that, hit generate and let the AI do its thing. It usually takes a short moment to process, so don't worry if it loads for a bit. When it's finished, you'll be able to download the video, save it, and then bring it straight back into your After Effects project. The video came out really good, but in my case it's a little bit too long, so what I'm gonna do is trim it down. I'll keep only the part that I actually need for the transition. Once that's done, let's drop the generated clip right between our two main clips in After Effects. This will serve as the bridge between them, creating that smooth transition effect. Now, to set up the transition, let's move the second clip just slightly underneath the generated mouth video. Next, grab the ellipse mask tool and draw a circular mask right in the middle of the mouth, focusing on that dark center area. In the mask settings, check invert so the inside of the mouth becomes transparent and then increase the feather value. This will soften the edges and make the transition look way more natural. Now let's animate the mask for the actual transition. Add keyframes to both mask expansion and mask feather. Move those keyframes all the way to the end of the clip. That will be the point where the mouth is fully open. Then go back to the point where you want the transition to start and adjust the values so the mask is much smaller and tighter around the center. This way, as the animation plays, the mask gradually opens up and fills the frame, perfectly closing the gap and creating the portal effect. Now let's finish off the transition by animating the scale and position of the second clip. Set keyframes for both scale and position, then move to the very end of the clip. Here, increase the scale so the video grows larger and larger, right into the center, until it completely disappears from view. As you can see, the transition is already looking pretty good. But to make it feel even more realistic, let's also animate the second clip along with it, just like we did before. Add keyframes for scale and position on the bottom clip so that it grows and moves in sync with the mouth animation. This makes both clips feel connected instead of separate layers. Now, you might notice some empty borders appearing around the edges. To fix that, apply the motion tile effect to the second clip. Increase the output width and height until the gaps are completely covered and don't forget to check mirror edges. And for the final touch, to make everything look even crazier, I'm gonna add the 9 trip shot effect from my Cinef FX pack. It's super simple, just drag and drop it onto the clip, and boom, the scenes are now perfectly blended together and the transition looks absolutely insane. This pack includes a ton of powerful effects that will help you edit much faster and give your videos a really professional look. Whether you're working on music videos, transitions, or just want to add some extra style to your edits, it's all in there. If you want to check it out for yourself, I've dropped the link down below in the description. And that's it. Our crazy mouth transition effect is complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty more effects and editing tricks coming your way.